So there's his dad, right? He's stinking rich, um, but he feels a bit guilty because he's, he's never really been there for his boys. And it's a new year. Happy New Year, by the way. And so he thinks, as a new re news resolution, I'm going to give back to my boys, you know. And, uh, you know, he's not very emotionally intelligent. So he, he wants to give to them in the only way he knows, really, by giving them money. So he calls his two boys. And he says, lads, right, this year I'm going to give you some pocket money. And they say, great, cash back, get in, okay. He says, okay, well, I have two options for you. Either you have £1,000 every week for the whole year, or, or I know I will give you a penny on the first week, and then the next week I'll double it, and the week after that I'll double it, and, and so on. Well, the first son says, £1,000 versus a penny, doesn't matter how many times you times a penny, it's not going to compete. I want the £1,000, please. Dad says, you got it, son. Second son, though, sits back in his chair and thinks a little bit. He's a bit more math savvy. He says, actually, I'm going to go with a penny option and just see how that pans out. Now, of course, by the end of the year, the first son is rich to the tune of £52,000, which is nothing to turn your nose up at. But the second son is richer than any human being who's ever lived, including his father, which is why the parable breaks down. But the point of the parable is that multiplication wins over addition every time. Not at first, but eventually it will do, and uh, cumulatively. Uh, every time. Uh, and that's the point that's made by Walter Henriksen, who talks about that parable in, the, in this book. Uh, it's a book called Disciples Are Made, Not Born. And it's the one I read over the Christmas break. It was Christmas present. And I, and I just wanted to review and recommend it today. It's a fascinating little book. Uh, it has lots to teach us about the art of making disciples. In one sense, it's a bit dated because it was originally published in the 70s. Some of the anecdotes and worldview are, have, have moved on. But, um, but actually, the principles are, are pretty timeless. And uh, there's some really interesting stuff here. Uh, some of the things, for example, that really stood out to me are things like um, needing to really do the business in terms of um, systematically helping um, that person to take upon themselves the, the habitus of Christ, the Christian lifestyle, um, learn those key habits. He talks about, for example, it being important to help people have a personal devotional time every day and and even says, you know, to, to really help them bed that in, maybe meet with them every every day for a week and then every other day for another week and then and so on and taper it down. But really go heavy in in terms of really helping them to bed in new habits. And I thought, wow, that's that's really profound and um, really help people to do that. He talked about the need to hospitality. Actually, you need to have people in and out of your homes. Uh, and, and to have the depth of relationship necessary to really make a disciple, to replicate your life and the pattern of Christ into another person's life, you need to spend a lot of time with them. Uh, and, and actually, you can't do that with 50, 100,000 people. But actually, in the long run, because of that multiplication process, it will win every time. If you make one disciple every year, who then will make, this, uh, make a disciple who will make a disciple and so on, actually, you make a greater contribution to the Great Commission and its fulfilment than uh, the mega evangelist who converts a thousand people pop. Um, so it's, it's packed full of, of suggestions and wisdom and insight. Uh, so I'd recommend it. And I would encourage you to think this year, who might I, what one person might I seek to make a disciple? Who's open to the gospel? Who's open to Jesus? Um, who have I got a relationship with and who might be willing for me to pour into their lives? And just to, to major on that and go deep in relationship and intentionally disciple them, as did Christ uh, with his disciples and Walter Henriksen with his.